Hello and welcome to Cool Toys. Today we're looking at better ways to commute in California and probably everywhere, but specifically here at the beach. So right now we're in a 2017 Volt. Pretty nice car. You can see how quiet it is. It's got a little bit of pickup, a lot of fun to drive, and nice car. So now one of the cool things with a Volt is it is truly an electric car. The generator, the gasoline engine, does not drive the motor or drive the car. All it does is send power to the car. It has its, a generator. So that's what it is, is an electrical generator, just like you plug into the side of your house. If you're out in a Volt and you run out of battery, the generator starts and it runs just fine. For everyday driving, nice comfortable seat, quiet car, and something I've got to tell you about this one, the satellite radio. The sound is just fantastic. The only thing I didn't get was the satellite navigation sat nav, but I didn't really need a GPS sat nav because this one's got Apple CarPlay. I plug in my iPhone, I've got everything I need right here on the screen. Everything we do here at Cool Toys is about finding a better solution. And boy, I wish I could show you those waves. I should be surfing. So, let's hit the road, find Vance, take a look at the older Volt, talk about them, and make a decision. Cool toy or not, Chevy Volts. All right, here we are today. We're going to be comparing the Chevy Volt 2014 2017. Scott, love your ride. 2017 Volt. 2014 Volt. I, 40 miles on a battery. 50's in the book. I got 61 the other day, hypermiling it, using the hold mode hack. From Huntington Beach to Los Angeles Airport and back, one charge, no replug. Impressive. 35 on gas. 45 on gas. You're killing me. But I'm not sure I want this one. No? The build quality on this one, if you look at the fit and finish coming in here mm -hmm. and look at it here, it doesn't measure the same. I got to tell you, the, they did a cool thing that you know how you have to open your trunk, dig everything out to find your electric charger? Right. This one, they put it in the side panel. The problem is the side panel doesn't fit. If you look at it, it's crooked, falls out. The back plastic all falls out not quite impressive and it's probably because they spent 84 grand building that one 54 grand building this one mm -hmm. 30 grand came out of somewhere okay so we're bringing down the build quality so what we're saying we want this car no this one has apple airplay satellite radio is outstanding apple airplay the map finally a decent gps map built into a car i don't ever see a reason to buy built-in sat nav again this is the one that's the cool car. It might be. This just might be the cool car. You know, as a motorhead, and your wife's here in the middle of our shot. We still on for lunch? I think I'm ready. All right, let's go. I'm thinking that's the cool car. Yeah, me too. I gotta go. 